Today we're gonna be making art out of candy. And whichever one of you has the best candy art after five hours wins up to five grand for a random subscriber and a lifetime supply of candy. You guys have 60 seconds to pick out your candy. After a second. What are you doing? Mackenzie, what the heck? She's destroying our set on purpose. Content. Time's up, you guys can't grab any more candy. And Ben's already eating candy. We've worked with gum, jelly beans, and they've honestly gotten pretty creative with it. I think if it were up to me, I would take a large canvas and do a candy dragon. It's definitely gonna be an interesting challenge because I have a couple twists up my sleeve, even though I don't have any sleeves today. And this is the aftermath of my beautiful candy store. I want a couple food challenges. I want gumball and watermelon. So maybe food is just what I'm good at. I'm a real artist today. We'll see how long that lasts. What is going on over here? It's exactly what you think it is. It's a red potato. Yes. I've decided on making a snake. I tried to grab as much as I could before Mackenzie's filthy paws just took everything from the table. I collected a lot of candy. I am going to make also, if you lose in this video, you get slimed at the end. No! Michelle, I found the perfect candy for you. What are the chances on one side it says art, on the other side it says math? That's you and me. I am math. My boy Ben's eating good. I feel sick now. Like, what are you making though? I don't know. It's ready to be up when the next video. I've been really into birds lately, so I will do a flamingo. Who eats dots? I love dots. Don't you dare. You like dots? These candies are gross. Yeah, it looks like everyone's really focused on working right now. I have a couple little challenges to get them out of their comfort zone. And I just thought of a really good one. Everyone, listen up. We have our first challenge. Follow me. All right, Michelle, give me a color. Red. Whoever can separate the most red Skittles in 30 seconds gets an advantage. Go. It needs to be in a pile with only red. If I see another color Skittle, you're disqualified. Red only. Red only. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, stop what you're doing. Vinny, how many red Skittles do you have? 39. 45. 48. 38. 45. Ben, you're the winner for this mini challenge. Let's go. You gotta choose two people and eliminate one color of candy. Can I consult with somebody? Sure. Michelle. Hey, so what color? Let's take a look around. I don't know. Let's go. Something's happening. Ben's taking a look around. Hey, what are you making? Uh, a snake with these. I actually might need one of these. Wait, oh. what? That looks like something else. It's a She said it, I didn't. <laughs> so you're not trying to target Michelle at all? Nah. That chose me! No black, Jake. Okay, that's fine. I literally have no black candy. Let's see. I'm gonna target Ken's. Go over, go over. Yeah, look me in the eye while you do it. No red. Okay. Hey, Vinny, what are you gonna give me if I make this shot in the trash can? I'll give you a dollar if you make that. i give you three tries, too. Nope. Uh, that's not the light, that's trash. Kobe. Let's go! I'll Venmo you. All right, I feel sick from eating all that candy. I am Miss Lunchy. I'm queen of food. I am gonna win today. I'm a little bored right now, so I came up with a pretty good idea to raise the stakes. David, go around and choose someone. Five seconds to choose one. Five, four, three, two. One. Mackenzie. So if Mackenzie ends up winning this challenge, I'll give you 500 bucks. Sweet. Honestly, if I were to choose someone, I would probably go with Jake. Yeah, no, I think Kenzie will pull through. Just because you didn't choose me, I'm actually gonna try now. That's, that, that's actually not half bad. I wanna give him a mouth, but like octopuses don't have mouths don't, on them. Just keep it like that. Yeah. I am now wrapping my snake with fruit by the foot. I feel like seeing so much candy is bringing out my entire childhood again. So I just came up with a couple new challenges. <laughs> Everyone, it's time for challenge number two. Come over here, take a fruit roll up and open it up. We're gonna play the game where you start with a tip on your tongue and you're gonna try to eat it all the way up. Person who finishes first gets an advantage. Last person, punishment. Go. Oh my goodness, it's really close between Vinny and Jake. Oh, Vinny won it. Vinny won it by half a second. Michelle, you got it. And Mackenzie, you got it. Ben, I thought you ate a lot of candy. And since you lost, you're getting punished. And Vinny, choose anyone to join Ben. Michelle? What? All right, Ben and Michelle, come with me. All right, Ben, Michelle, sort these into colors, and then you can get back to work. Okay, easy, easy, easy. This is more fun than the actual challenge. I'm happy Vince didn't choose me because sorting those does not look fun. Ah, uh, this is hurting my neck. I chose uh, to punish Michelle just because uh, that's my nemesis. I gotta beat Michelle. Wahoo! We done. Oh, you're gonna win everything. 
Before we keep going with this challenge, I have a little announcement to make. I am partnering with Headcount to encourage you guys to register to vote. Your voice matters and we want to hear it because no vote goes unaccounted for. Also, I'm going to customize this laptop and give it to one of you guys that uses my link to confirm your registration or register to vote. I'll customize anything you want on this brand new laptop. It's going to be really nice. nice. So click the link and make sure you're good to vote. Back to the video. The biggest reason why I want to win is because I want to make Zach proud and I am not quitting today. Originally, I picked a lion because I was going to use sweet tart ropes for the mane, but Ben took away my ability to use red. I'm turning this into a bear. Hey, Kenz, how's it going? It's going, Damon, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Zach said that he would have betted on me, so that makes me feel confident. This is what I have so far. The bottom lip is a little chunky, but I think it, it's all right. I'm too tempted. I saw some gummy candy in it, and I want to try it. Cheers. Wow. It's not bad. I feel pretty good. I actually like it. This is driving me crazy. There's too much to put on. All right, everyone, we have our third challenge. Rules are simple. I'll chuck a gummy bear up, and you just gotta catch it in your mouth. You have three tries. So whoever wins this gets a pretty solid advantage. Jake, you ready? <laughs> no way! He got three for three! You ready? Yeah. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Jake made it look really easy, because it's actually not that easy. <laughs> nope. <laughs> there you go. Whoa! All right, Michelle, you ready? <laughs> nope. I'm not very good at this. Nope. I'll start anyway. Oh. All right, Vinny, you ready? Nope. I guess the rest doesn't matter anymore, so there you go. There's your gummy bear. Wait, Jake, I don't know how you got three for three. Everyone was struggling to even get one. Acting like my life was on the line. So for your advantage, you can choose two contestants and make them play a game of Candyland, which takes around half an hour. Really? Let me just go around. Candyland. Vinny no. gets to play Candyland. Yay. You can go play Candyland. OK, <laughs> Mackenzie. All right, so Vinny and Mackenzie have to play start to finish. Have fun. Ken, remember. Take your time. So Mackenzie and Vinny are playing Candyland. Oh, it could take one, two, or three hours, which would suck for them because there's 57 minutes left. I'm done. This game sucks. They just finished Candyland in five minutes. I guess my plan wasn't as diabolical as I thought it would be. Zachary, you said it was a huge advantage. Jake, this is extremely impressive, but if you look at Vinny's, it's very, very complete. I think I did way better than I anticipated. I think it's gonna be come down to me and Jake. Videographer, give me the camera real quick. Why don't you walk over and take a look at Jake's piece? Yeah, it's really good. Teeth look good. Tongue's good. Look at this awesome bear, Dave. It doesn't it's look amazing. so good. It's a win. win. It's number one. Number one. You get slimed if the person you bet on loses. What? Going to the desert has made me a lot nicer. <laughs> a lot nicer? Because Michelle was so mean on our date night video on her channel. I thought I was gonna die. And I'm just very grateful and happy to be here, Nancy. Vinny's one of my good friends. For some reason today, his piece looks really good. This is kind of out my alley. He works with wood. Wait, I thought you said no black for Jake. I didn't use black. Black oh. beans. Oh. Oh. oh, I have to cover it all. Did you use a black? No! <laughs> Jake forgot about his disadvantage. Jake, if those are black jelly beans, you need to take them out right now. You have two and a half minutes to take it out before you're disqualified. Rolls are rolled. If he can't finish that, I'll have a more finished piece for him. That's good news for me. Five, four, three, two, one. And time is up. Everyone stop working. We're going to get to judging. Jake, why don't we start over here? Well, I originally was going to make a snake, but I'm going to call it a sand serpent now. It kind of like resembles a dragon in the front as well. I really like the detail. I, I think the most impressive thing about this piece is the mouth. I must say, Jake, this is probably one of your more impressive pieces, especially the head. Good job, Jake. Thank you. All right, Mackenzie, why don't you tell me about your piece? So this is a teddy bear. It's probably one of my best pieces I've ever done, and I'm going to be really upset if I don't win. <laughs> It's not a bad piece, it's a solid piece. I don't like that the aluminum foil is still exposed. I also wouldn't say that this was one of your best pieces. Ben, what do we have here? I made an Oni mask. I used jelly beans, because it's probably like the only thing I knew how to use. And I am glad that you didn't give up. I am disappointed in your effort. Since I am your mentor, one of the biggest things I teach you is hard work and determination, and I only saw a tiny bit of that today. Michelle, tell me about your flamingo. I gave the flamingo Vinny's legs. Oh, because oh, Vinny has skinny legs. We get a shot of these fat quads. <laughs> well, I think it was really cute that you used these as like feathers and yeah. you kind of like tilted them up. This is a fairly strong piece, Michelle. I, yeah! It's not bad. Good job, Michelle. 
Awesome. Vinny, what do we have here? Uh, I got an octopus coming out of the water. I used gumballs, Pez, ring pops, so Jolly Ranchers, I, Mike and Ike's, so jelly beans. Do Zach did give me the idea of the water. I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely impressed right now. Thank you. People are gonna start taking you seriously because this is a very good piece. Yeah. So before we do a subscriber poll to see who wins, I am going to eliminate a few people right off the bat. Michelle, I was rooting for you from the very start. They give me a chance! I'm gonna eliminate you. Sorry, Michelle. In the comments, please say that I'm better than Vince. No! And Mackenzie, I am also going to be eliminating your piece. It is definitely not as strong as some of the other pieces here. So round of applause for Michelle and Mackenzie. Vinny, Ben, Jake. I am thinking of a number from one through three. Two. Three. One. Jake you automatically move on to the finals. Yes! Vinny, Ben, we're playing a game called Sudden Death with my subscribers. I'm gonna ask one subscriber which one they like best, and they'll choose. I asked Juan Jose, which piece is your favorite? The person moving on to the finals to compete against Jake is... Vinny! Ah! For our final round, it will be three subscribers determining your fate. <laughs> the first vote goes to... Vinny! Ah! I'm screwed! You only need one more vote to win this entire competition. I'm very excited. I asked Jenna, which one is your favorite piece? And Jenna's vote goes to... Jake! <laughs> You're back in the game, it's all tied up. For those of you guys that are participating in this poll, I love you guys and, and thanks for subscribing. Just subscribe and you can vote as well. So I asked Jake, which piece do you like the best? That's not fair. Hey, it's a random subscriber and his name just so happens to be Jake. Vinny, Jake, come up over here. Oh, God. All right. And the winner, that's gonna win up to five grand for a random subscriber and a lifetime supply of candy for themselves is... Jake! Ah! <laughs> Vinny, you were so, so close. Oh. Jake was scared out of his mind. I'm shaking. So if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and Jake might win up to five grand for you. You get a lifetime supply of candy. Uh, we're gonna slime them for the outro. I'll see you guys later. Ah, oh, let's break. What? This one looks weird. Alrighty. Oh. Uh -huh.